building, killing at least 19 people, nine of those victims. What a sad day in New York. What a sad, sad, sad time in New York, guys. Fire took the life of 19 person, including nine kids and several person injured. Guys, I am going to show you guys some clips of this video. It's very heartbreaking for me. Before I go down into this video, I just want to send condolences to those family. Guys, I'm not going to talk too much in this video because this kind of, of news is very sad for me. I don't like fire, guys. I don't like fire. When I was growing up, um, I was in the ghetto and they have a fire, a such a big fire that took the life of an old lady. And I was living in that same yard. So these kind of things, it get me you understand guys but anyway guys i'm going to let you guys listen and take a quick preview of what really went on because they say the fire start from a space eater and for those who don't know what is a space eater a space eater is the eaters that you plug in instead of the one that run in the actual house that's what they say caused the fire, a space eater. Catastrophe in the Bronx, the deadliest fire in 30 years, tears through an apartment building, killing at least 19 people, nine of those victims, children. As a live look at the scene, the toll from this fire is both dreadful and historic. At least 19 people, including nine children, died. 44 are injured, including 13 who would officials describe with life-threatening injuries. And a fire this deadly is almost unheard of in New York City. To give you some perspective, a total of 73 people died in fires in the city in all of 2021. We have team coverage of this fire catastrophe from the victims to the survivors to the onset of the investigation. We begin tonight with Josh Einiger at the scene in Tremont. Josh. And Joe, we just heard from the mayor, the fire commissioner, the governor with an update on the investigation. The death toll does stand at 19, but we are expecting that it could rise uh, through the night. Meanwhile, fire officials do believe a malfunctioning space heater is what sparked the fire that led to the worst loss of life in a New York City fire in more than three decades. Flames shot like a blowtorch from a third floor apartment. Oh my gosh. But fire was the least of their problems as a lazy Sunday morning turned to pandemonium at the Twin Parks Northwest Apartments. Everything in my apartment is black. The walls, the floors, my dog, my kids. So they just got us out just in, the, in time. It was instead the smoke, a thick column of smoke, black as night, that turned a 19 floor building into a death trap. An army of rescue workers pulled out one lifeless body after another, fruitlessly attempting CPR. But late this afternoon, the death toll approached two dozen at the worst loss of life in a New York. We say fire, fire. It started in Mamadou Wage's third floor duplex, where he lives with his wife and eight kids, one of whom was trapped on a burning bed. Wage has burns on his nose from when he leapt through the flames to rescue his daughter, who is also burned but alive. Though so many of his neighbors did not survive. I don't want to end anybody's life stay in this. I don't want to hear that. So anybody dead in this fire? The fire department, nine children are among the victims. Hundreds of firefighters responded to the scene. New York City Mayor Eric Adams said it will be, quote, one of the worst fires we have witnessed during modern times. Joining me now by phone is WCBS radio reporter Steve Burns, who is on the scene. Steve, tell us, what is the latest information that you have on this devastating fire? Well, Lana, we were told at first numerous fatalities were expected, and now, unfortunately, we do have the, the grim numbers to report from FDNY sources here that 19 people were killed in this high-rise fire, 10 adults, 
and nine children. Just horrifying numbers here. I'm looking at the building, this 19-story building. You can see it from blocks away. You can see the remnants of the, the sheer panic and devastation that blanketed this building when this fire first started around 11 o'clock this morning. There's still shattered windows. There are curtains blowing in the breeze here. Uh, as folks look for some way out uh, of this, this horrific fire, New York City's worst fire now in three decades. Can you tell us, Steve, anything more about how this fire turned into such a severe situation? Well, we don't know at this point how the fire started, but what we do know from the fire commissioner is that the fire itself was largely contained to the second and third floor, uh, a duplex apartment on the, the lower part of this building, but a door was left open, and that's often a recipe for disaster. In this case, that door being left open allowed smoke to billow throughout the building, uh, just blanketing this building very quickly. Fire commissioners said they encountered victims who were coughing, people in respiratory arrest, cardiac arrest on every floor of this building. It's uh, smoke conditions that he called unprecedented in his time with the FDNY. Hmm. With the fire really contained to the first and second floors, but uh, that that smoke all the way up to the 19th floor. You mentioned uh, the situation with uh, people being recovered and, and pulled from that building, coughing, having other types of respiratory distress. Do we know anything more about uh, other people and, and how they're doing, other injuries in the building? Do you have a sense of those numbers, Steve? Well, the original update we got was 32 people uh, with life-threatening injuries. Uh, so now that we can confirm that 19 people have died, uh, that leaves, uh, of course, another 11, 12 people with life-threatening injuries and another 30 people who had less severe injuries but were also taken to the hospital, along with a firefighter who was taken to the hospital uh, with uh, minor injuries. So it's uh, just devastation from, from this fire. And you can see from those numbers just the, the all-encompassing impact of this smoke that rose up from that uh, second, third floor apartment and just uh, just blanketed this building very quickly. So horrible. Do we do we know anything about what happens to the people who who were successfully rescued from the building? Are they going to be able to return? Is that building able to be inhabited? Uh, I would say at this point probably not. I did speak to several people who made it out. Uh, one person told me his apartment was uh, just basically everything was destroyed. Another woman told me her apartment was, was largely fine, except for the fact that she opened the door to get out of her apartment, and she was blown back by the smoke, in her words. She felt like she had been blinded uh, instantly. Uh, so some apartments are, are in better shape than others. What we know from the city right now is that uh, a middle school around the corner has been opened up as temporary shelter. The Red Cross is on scene handing out food, handing out water, uh, but such a large building, again, 19 floors, uh, there are likely hundreds of people who need to find temporary accommodations, and that's what the city is working on now. Again, 19 people dead in a five-alarm five fire in a Bronx apartment building. Still many more questions needing to be answered. Steve Burns with WCBS, thank you. We're going thank to you, take Lana. a break. You're streaming CBSN.